Hey folks, here we will see what to expect from the new Python Oracle DB driver release, why you should look forward to this release as compared to the earlier CX underscore Oracle version, what are its improvements over CX underscore Oracle and what are the new interesting features in the Python Oracle DB release compared to the older versions. So developers normally use the hugely popular CX underscore Oracle driver to connect their Python applications to Oracle database. Then what drove us to refresh our Python data access driver for Oracle database? Well, CX underscore Oracle uses Oracle call interface, which is a collection of native C based libraries to access and work with Oracle database. Oracle call interface is provided by Oracle client libraries such as instant client, which is a separate install. So this makes CX underscore Oracle a thick installation and can require extra configuration. Although hugely popular with great support for Python's database API specification and Oracle databases advanced features like continuous availability or high availability, advanced queuing, continuous query notification, etc. Its install footprint and extra configuration requirements has been a concern for our users. So to make our developers and users life easier, we are introducing the new and rebranded version of CX underscore Oracle aptly renamed Python Oracle DB. The main highlight of this iteration is a thin mode that does not require Oracle client libraries, meaning the installation and configuration got much, much easier. Also, the thin mode takes up a smaller footprint than CX underscore Oracle and the thin mode provides better use of resources and better performance through faster query atomics and reduced CPU usage because of its tighter integration with the Python ecosystem. Python Oracle DB installs on platforms without Oracle client libraries, for example, Alpine Linux, or in those platforms where those libraries are hard to install, such as some of the cloud deployments. Python Oracle DB also now has Mac OS libraries and they run on Intel and M1 chips. Python Oracle DB driver provides you improved IDE or integrated development environment experience, which has been verified with Visual Studio Code. Now, in addition to the new thin mode and its features, we have retained the thick behavior of the earlier version. This thick mode is used for some of the advanced features of Oracle database such as high availability or continuous availability, advanced queuing, etc., which require Oracle client libraries. Now, both the modes support Python's database API version 2 specifications and can be used with common frameworks and ORMs of Python such as SQL Alchemy, Django, Pandas, etc. Now, what about the future of CX underscore Oracle? You can consider Python Oracle DB as a major release of CX underscore Oracle and all the new features will be in Python Oracle DB's packages. So the old CX underscore Oracle bundle releases and bug fixes will continue for a limited time, like two years based on your feedback, especially for critical fixes and new Python versions. Now let's look at a few important features introduced in Python Oracle DB version 1.0 other than the obvious thin mode. Starting off, we have support for code annotations. Code annotation is built as a new top layer of the driver written in Python. Code annotation enables smart editor features such as code completion, API hints and type checking, which has been verified with Visual Studio Code again. You can use connect params and pool params classes to encapsulate connection and connection pool settings and then pass it to the connection creation and pool creation functions respectively. Now this screenshot shows the various connection parameters or network attributes for the connect function. These connection parameters can also be used with the connect params class. Compared to the earlier driver version, you can specify many more co such connection parameters when you're using the connect param class or connect function to create connections or pools in the Python app. Note that we are making the use of code annotations which are introduced in Python Oracle DB here. Previously, we had make DSN to set the network attributes, which is now deprecated. Another way to set the network attributes is to use easy connect strings with the connect function. We have also got better error messages. For example, binding now tells you the actual placeholder, which does not have a corresponding value in case of an error. Python Oracle DB has also introduced modernized names for certain functions and attributes, which are much more developer friendly. For example, we have improved the pool creation function and attribute names. However, note that the old names of the functions and attributes can still be used in Python Oracle DB. A new Oracle DB default objects has been introduced in Python Oracle DB for setting some common application wide defaults. For example, the attribute Oracle DB defaults.fetch underscore lobs can be set to false. 
so that the lobs are fetched as strings or bytes instead of lob object references. This removes the need to implement an output type handler unlike the earlier CX underscore Oracle driver. Next, a brand new API for two-phase commit has been introduced which makes distributed transactions easy. Now advanced queuing supports recipient list in Python Oracle DB. There are many other new features which you can check out in the namespaces and URLs listed in the slide here. These links give the homepage of Python Oracle DB plus its related documentation and articles. Please check out these links in your free time whenever possible. With that we come to the end of the complete introduction section for Python Oracle DB. Next time we'll look at how to install Python Oracle DB driver release in various platforms and connect to Oracle database. Till then take care, bye bye.